in ada boosting we will be giving a data set table like this with different features with inputs and the outputs predicting for these inputs so this is the data we will be giving and we have to do what we have to do is we have to update the weights and initialize the weights and for the given different features like we should predict if they have given greater than or equals to 9 or some different inputs we have to predict whether that should be yes or no so by doing ada boosting first step what we have to do is initialize the weights for each and every one same initial same weights that is 1 by n here n is the total number of observations here you may see that there are six observations so 1 by 6 is the initial weight so this is the first step so for all these observations the first weight should it it is going to be the 1 by 6 same next what you have to do is updating the weights this is the initial weight right so you have to update these weights based on these different different features so now first let's take for cgpa in cgpa you can see there are two different inputs right greater than or equals to 9 or less than 9 so for greater than or equals to 9 let's assume let's assume that the job profile may be s so write a decision stump like cgpa if it is greater than or equals to 9 then it is yes and less than 9 as no so now what you have to do is for the, these all features how many are the correct like how many this is our predicted value right so actual values with actual values is it matching let's see this so first of all for greater than or equals to 9 it is s is it s the given one is s s right so this is matching and next one is for less than 9 it should be no but if you see here it is yes means this is not matching right so keep it is into now for greater than or equals to 9 it should be s but here if you see it is no so what you have to do into it is not matching and for less than 9 also it is no where it should be no right so it is matching and next we are the same you can see so all these are matching but the second one and the third one is not matching so what you have to do now i have to calculate the error what is meant by error is for error cgpa error formula is number of the incorrected ones into the weight of it so here how many incorrect inputs you have seen two inputs are incorrect right two things are incorrect second one and third one is the incorrect uh detected two wrong detected so now 2 into 1 by 6 what is error 2 by 6 1 by 3 right so after calculating the error so there are three steps here first you have to initialize the weights and next you have to draw decision stumps and you have to calculate the error value after calculating error value so after calculating error value you have to calculate alpha what is meant by alpha is it is the performance stump so based on this alpha we are going to update weights alpha formula is half into log to the base that is ln of 1 minus ex by ex here ex is the error error of that particular feature so now alpha cgpa for that feature let's calculate the alpha half into ln of 1 minus 1 by 3 by 1 by 3 this is 2 by 6 right so 1 by 3 and next you will be getting alpha value here so alpha value after getting alpha value now what is your next step is updating the weights so to update weights you may have seen many formulas or don't worry to by heart i will say some simply how to understand this so no need to by heart the formulas see let's understand let's understand okay so for new weight like you will you are having these as initialized weights right so now you have to update these weights according to the incorrected and corrected ones 2 and 3 are the incorrected ones right so we have to update these weights how we are going to update is this formula for incorrected ones w old into e power alpha 1 plus for corrected ones w old into e power minus alpha 1 this is the weights we have to get first of all so if you see w all for incorrect ones 1 by 6 for everything 1 by 6 right so here you take 1 by 6 into e power alpha 1 e power 0.347 calculating this you will be getting 
and for this sorry this you will be getting 0.23 and for this you will be getting 0.11 so now let's write this what bytes you have got 1 4 5 6 are the correct ones right so for this 0.1 you write 0.11 and for incorrect ones you got 0.23 so these are not the finalized weights now what you have to do is normalize all these weights how to do this is Normalizing means you have to divide the each each weight by total weight of this. You understood? See, just calculate the total of these weights. What is meant by total is number of corrected ones into the weight of the correct ones plus number of in, number of incorrected ones into weight of the incorrect ones. He, he see here you can see four into zero point one plus 2 into 0 0.23 this gives you the total value normalizing the weights means updating weights by dividing each each, each weight by total okay so now total value is 0 0.9 okay, right? total value is 0 0.9 kavati. now what you have to do is divide 0 0.11 by 0 0.9 and 0 0.23 by 0 0.9 that's it that's you have completed calculating weights nothing other than like z value some formulas nothing this is what you have to do you have to first of all calculate the weights like this and divide it with the total one that is going to be the finalized weight so here 0 0.11 divided by 0 0.9 you will get 0 0.12 and 0 0.25 when you do this so these are the normalized weights so these are the finalized weights not these are the finalized weights Finalized weights are these, like these are initial and these are the final weights for this alpha CGPA, okay? Now, you have to follow the same procedure for all other features, like you have interactiveness and generalized features, right? So, for all these things, you have to do the same. Now, what you have to remember is, see, again, I will show for the interactiveness also. For interactiveness, if it is yes, it is yes. And if it is no, no. Let's let's say. So let's see for interactiveness that let's assume for S it is going to be the S predicted value. For no, it is going to the predicted. Now if you see here for first one it is okay. For second one no, it should be no. But here it is yes. So into mark this and rest of all you can see no, 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 no. S S S S. So balanced right. So one is the incorrect one so there is one error now what you have to do is how to calculate this error is so one this second one is the error one right so now we have to do is 1 into 0 0.25 error value is not 1 by 6 this is wrong no it is not 1 by 6 now you have to take the this value this value initialized not initialized weight what is the updated weight that you have to take so error value will be 1 into 0 0.25 so error will be 0 0.25 i hope you guys got so you shouldn't take 1 by 6 here you have to take 1 into 0 0.25 if if any other is also wrong 2 into 0 0.25 if, now now let's let me tell you if this is wrong and this is wrong now what you will take is 1 into 0 0.25 plus 0 0.2 so you have to take the weight of it in and you have to add those like if you have this also as wrong 2 into 0 0.25 plus 0 0.212 so basically what are the error values that weights you have to add it so if these three are error so 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.12 this is how you have to calculate the error after calculating error again the same process you have to calculate the uh, like alpha value for interactiveness so alpha interact equals to sorry here you have to wear 0 0.25 before when 0 0.25 not 1 by 6 so here after calculating this you will get alpha interactive interactiveness so after getting alpha again you have to update the weights rather than the before weights you have to update the weights by using the same formula now here also don't forget to take this weight means the before weight not 1 by 6 before whatever you got the weight after updating initial weights normalized weights that you have to consider here after considering it same again you have to do 
the same process and same like you have to normalize the weights and divide it with the each so now see here you can see the updated weights here after this you will get the updated weights same again for practical knowledge you have to wear a decision stump here if you see there is no need to change the weights because there is no difference in the predicted and actual value if you see all are correct so there is no change in error uh, there is no change in weights and error equals to 0 I hope you got and for fourth one again fourth one you have to repeat the same process after repeating all these you will be getting some last finalized weights right these are the finalized weights so now what you have to do is you have to draw table for final predicted value how to draw this table is first of all serial number and second one is alpha cgpa for this what uh, what i have to write is see alpha cgpa when greater than or equals to 9 you have to write the predicted job offers like s no s no ss he, these you have to write here if you see the same one here they wrote what are the predicted ones like we have for the given things, the predicted ones you have to write. For alpha interactiveness, if you see for alpha interactiveness, these are the predicted ones. S, no, 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 S, S. The same you have to write here. S, no, 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 S, S. So these you have to write all here. And now you have to calculate the weighted average. How to calculate this? Now I will show you. So this is the formula. P equals to alpha 1 H1 X plus alpha 2 H1. See just... I will tell you what you have to do is alpha 1 is for alpha CGPA. You have calculated alpha CGPA, right? So alpha CGPA into this H1 of X means S. S plus alpha 2 into S plus alpha 3 into S. So you have to take if it is S, you have to assume 1. If it is no, you have to assume 0 while calculating. So here it is S, right? So assume 1. 0 0.347 into 1 plus 0 0.549 minus 0 0.54 these alpha values are we have calculated for each one right so uh, these are the those alpha values now you will get the weighted average this is weighted average p means weighted average okay yeah, i hope you got um so for like this you can calculate to all the feed all input data set or in question if they have asked you they have given this inputs like cgpa is greater than or equals to 9 interact equals to s ph equals to good and this now predict job what it will be like s or no so when they have asked like this what you can do is cgpa greater than or equals to 9 right so for this uh, you have already know if it is greater than or equals to 9 it is s right if interact equals to s it is s right and for pk equals to good what you have kept you have to see once for practical knowledge equals to good it means it is also s and for communication skills for moderate what you have took if it is moderate it is no so like this you have to take now see what you have to do is alpha 1 means alpha cgpa into s as they have asked us greater than or equals to 9 if they have asked us 9 you have to keep here no okay plus alpha 2 into interactiveness equals to s so s plus alpha 3 into here i didn't consider pk because it's you have seen here there is no change in weights error equals to 0 right so take no need to take pk communication skill equals to moderate it is no so now what you have to do is s means 1 no means 0 so this is cancelled and this you have to calculate now you will be getting one value right so if it is greater than 0 then the predicted output should be it be s if it is less than 0 then predicted output will be no this is the final thing you can calculate i hope you guys got how we calculated the predicted output predicted job here so this is the final now I would like to summarize the ADA boosting. What you have to do is step 1. Initializing the weights for all by dividing uh, with the number of observation 1 by n for all. Now you have to find out the error by checking how many correct and incorrect ones you have to find weighted error. This is number of incorrect ones or the incorrect ones into weight of each. You have to sum it. If you have different weights for each you have to weigh those weights not the same weights. Okay. 
so after calculating error ex equals to k into 1 by n you have to calculate the performance dump alpha x alpha x equals to half into this formula so after this what you have to do is calculating new weights for each w nu equals to old into e power alpha 1 for incorrect and for correct it is minus alpha after calculating weights for each you have to normalize the weights how to normalize is by dividing each weight with the total how you get total is by adding all weights okay by adding all weights you have to divide the total with the each weight so now you will get normalized weights after getting normalized weights you have to do the same for the all attributes or features now finally we have to predict the value for given input data set right so for that how you do is p equals to alpha 1 into h1x plus this is the formula here you have to take h1 s of x is whether s or no if it is s you can take it is 1 and no it is 0 so if p greater than 0 the final value after you getting the weighted average if weighted average is greater than 0 then it is s if it is less than 0 then it is no so this is how you are going to calculate in ada boosting that's it thank you